Maximum alert from the Potter Blog site, October 16, 2014. Uh, this alert's based on a solicitation by the National Institutes of Health. Uh, basically, they're the uh, CDC's bosses. Uh, the solicitation reads, quote, Emergency Disaster Event Preparation for Personal Protective Equipment. Now, we have a link to this on our website so you can peruse it yourself. Uh, we've summarized it here. Uh, basically, what's happening is the NIH has, is ordering a one-year stockpile of personal protective equipment in support of eight NIH institutes. A one-year stockpile. Now, those of you who do not know what uh, PPE is or you're not familiar with the term, let me zoom on this just a little bit for you, make it a little easier to read. PPE is uh, medical goods like gloves, goggles, gowns, masks, spacesuits. Now, the NIH's rationale is that the animal testing that they're doing is so vitally important to the country that they cannot tolerate any disruption in uh, PPE supplies. So, how big of a disruption is uh, NIH expecting? Well, it, based on the contract, this disruption is expected to last at least one full year, and they have an option to carry it on for four more years. Now, to quote directly from the contract, it says, Personal Protective Equipment Resource to ensure the accessibility and availability of essential supplies throughout an emergency, disaster, government shutdown, or any other interruption of regular deliveries. Well, my goodness, are there any near-term risks that potentially could make PPE unavailable for an entire year? Well, obviously they are Ebola, which is already having an effect on the availability of some PPE, H7N9, bird flu, and MERS-CoV. So, uh, let's read a little bit more about what they're saying in this uh, solicitation. It says, During emergency disaster events, the normal supply and distribution channels will most likely be unavailable or protracted due to the impact of the emergency and the rush of immediate orders. Well, that's already occurring with uh, Ebola. And here's the key part. The intention of our program to be able to house up to a one-year supply of PPE products. Well, we believe that this contract clearly indicate, indicates the government expects a protracted shortage of medical PPE and that the window of opportunities for for individuals to purchase needed PPE at reasonable prices is now to close. So what's driving this? You know, the CDC said, ah, no risk of Ebola. Nobody's going to catch it, basically. Well, what they're not telling you is that in 2012, the U.S. Army said that Ebola equals influenza in terms of airborne stability, and it might only need winter weather to go airborne. No mutation, nothing else. In fact, Ebola is so infectious that if you aerosolize one drop, worst case, it can kill 500,000 people. In terms of a room size, worst case now. One sneeze in a 1,104 uh, square foot room can infect a room such that somebody taking in, walking to that room and taking one breath can infect them with Ebola. Now we've done that analysis in detail here and so you can read that yourself through our sources. But uh, the window is rapidly closing for being able to, uh, to take wise cost-effective risk mitigation against what the government is clearly preparing for. And that's some sort of emergency disaster event that's going to sock up a year's supply of PPE.